All right, here we are. Now that we've got the payload corrected and we have the um, all the trigger moving truck trigger zones made for the 13 waypoints, the next thing we need to do is the most important step, setting up trigger rules for all of those. So we go over to trigger rules and we're back to all our trigger rules for the complete training and we'll scroll all the way to the bottom and I can't remember if I discussed this or not but up here well down here is where's the pass and fail and set up for the three types of passes the last one will be the moving trucks so if we come up here to range this is uh, just before that is where we turn off our autopilot and we're going to be heading uh, we're going to be turning towards this range which is actually waypoint four right here so this range right here is where he's discussing what's going to happen when we get there so anytime actually it doesn't really matter where like I said all these trigger rules are constantly being monitored if any conditions become true then the actions are taken but this is a good a place as any to add our we're gonna have a trigger rule and I'll show you how that works uh, I created a new trigger this puts it at the bottom but we can move it and we got to give this trigger a name so what we're going to do is create a rule for all 13 of these uh, waypoints so that when a truck crosses each trigger zone that we made it's going to generate a, a smoke marker and uh, a couple other things so uh, let's go ahead and do this first we got to give it a name so the name we'll give it is smoke uh, waypoint one all right so we've got this one made let's move it up here and it'll be fine to put it just before this range but like I say it really doesn't matter where and let's go ahead and create the condition for that waypoint one so we need to find a type and these two trucks are part of a group called moving targets so it's a group so here's groups and we don't see anything there but if we come down here here we go part of group in zone that means if either one of these two trucks gets into the zone first it will trip this condition and which group well we got to select that the group would be moving targets which zone well it's our first zone waypoint for the moving trucks so zone waypoint one so we've got that set up actions we need a new action what are we going to do when a truck has entered waypoint one the action we need will be to create a smoke marker so we scroll down to smoke marker and we don't want it on a unit 
we want it to be on the zone because this is the one where it will only put it exactly where the unit was it won't follow the unit so let's create a smoke marker and you can see you can tell it what zone you want to create the marker in and we know that it's our zone for waypoint one altitude doesn't matter and we're going to alternate between red and green so I'm making all the odd waypoints all these odd zones for odd waypoints I'm making them red and the even ones will be orange just easy to remember and then is there anything else we want to do with those let's see no so what we're going to do is clone this 12 more times and they'll just put one right after the other and the beauty of it is it will clone the conditions and the actions as well so here we go 12 okay one two 12. All right. So all we got to do is make our quick changes here. One is what we just did. Come down here. This one now gets called waypoint. Trigger rule for waypoint two. This changes to waypoint two. This also changes to waypoint two. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish these quick changes and just cut to the end. Hmm. All right, all my way. Smoke marker waypoint trigger rules are done. You can see the odd ones are red even ones are orange so they're alternating in colors so 12 should be orange the last one when they park their trucks should be red and it is very good so by not setting any other conditions what's going to happen is we'll be able to test this very easily because we know currently By default, the original mission has the uh, training mission has the uh, moving targets starting at mission start. So as soon as we start, as soon as we try to fly this, we're going to be able to look at the moving trucks and verify that all these smart smoke markers work. But before we do that, first close this menu. It kind of verifies that you wanted to save that. And then we want to do a save as. And I don't know if I brought this up before, but it's very important that you can leave the original mission, training mission, in its default uh, mission, mission where we opened it originally, which was at Eagle Dynamics you know, blah, 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 DCS, wherever you have uh, the uh, Eagle Dynamics DCS installed. Uh, but you don't need to save our edited versions there. It would make more sense to save them where 
your saved file is at. Let's see. Here's saved games, that's what I meant. In your saved games folder, DCS, and then you go into missions, and I created a folder called edited training. And so we'll just change this edited moving truck trigger rules. We'll leave it as one since I haven't had to make any correction corrections of this one yet. And we'll hit OK. And what that means is if we actually wanted to fly that dot ms file, we could start up DCS and go to missions and then go to my missions and it would show all those folders and then you could actually fly it from there but currently we can just fly it from here and hit f7 and we'll be able to uh, see our trucks moving so let's try it i need to verify that it all works so we hit start This is my first time going through this, so we'll see if we made any errors. I had done it once before, and I picked the wrong waypoint. For waypoint 3, I had to fix that. But uh, this time around, hopefully I got it right. Okay, we hit fly. Hit F7. Unguided rockets and the GAO 8A gun against stationary and mobile ground targets. Zoom out. This lesson, we'll review the HUD indications for gun and rocket employment, and then you'll have some range time to try a few strafing runs. Before taking off, let's configure some settings for the sortie. First, we'll be done with set that in a minute. The test mode by left clicking once so we can set up some gun options. Now he's waiting for us to click that uh, IPSI button into test mode, which we're not going to do because we're not in the plane. So his training will stop right there because we haven't met that condition. So I don't have flags for where these zones are at. So we'll just see how it works. And after we watch a couple of these, I'm going to fast forward the video uh, so that you'll be able to see them passing through all the waypoints and making alternating smoke. Uh, but we'll speed things up. So let's just see what happens here. Waypoint one, red smoke. I know there's a way to speed things up, I think, while we're in this fly mode. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> So, what's going to happen? They have to get all the way down to past the tree line before they get to that fence. The fence is right here. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to watch them go ahead and maneuver their way through these trees with the AI. So, From the air, yeah, there is dust they're kicking up, but when you're up at 3,000, 2,000 feet, finding these trucks in the grass at the last minute so you can do a run <laughs> and target them without hitting the ground uh, can get interesting. So that's why I wanted to through this whole smoke at each waypoint thing and make it a little bit easier to try to find them. Even still, you usually have to make one run if, just to see if you can see where they're at and then come around knowing where you saw them last. So here they are. <laughs> 
going through the trees. I think this is cool. <laughs> now when they go through the fences and I can't move those fences. They're part of the terrain. This is the Caucasus terrain. And so I can't change that. But when they go through the fences, they do break that fence down right where they go through it. So at least that part of it's sort of real. I don't know. you got to look close here if they're going to actually hit a fence here. But they better turn and put up a orange smoke here. And there it is! And he broke through some of the fence. There's our orange smoke. That was a long run, but it's a little shorter when they uh, get to this next one. Which is be just past this runway, I think. So the smoke markers, like I said, only last five minutes. So the most markers you'll see be maybe three because the older ones beyond five minutes will end. Hey, they have to get all the way up here, I guess. Oh, they have to go towards around this other runway. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to go through one set of markers and then I'll be speeding up the video. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, boom, that fence will be knocked down. Pretty soon they should be turning and put up this time it'd be a red marker. There it is! Alright, now we're gonna see him really bust through the fence. There we go. And then they're off road. They're finally going to get back on the road up ahead. So we'll go ahead and watch them do that because it gets a little tricky. Now there's not just trees, but there's buildings and stuff. So we'll see what they do. I'm assuming they may not quite do it the same every time. Because the AI is only reacting to what the trucks are approaching, which might be different since the last turn they made their track. All right, let's see what happens here. Approaching the road. There's the orange smoke. He turned pretty good. But the second guy, I think, has more issues. I don't know why. They're both average skill level. Let's see. No. That was pretty clean. All right, here we go. So you can see <clears throat> the first red smoke at that far edge of runway has already disappeared. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video now.
And there you have it. They made it through all 13 waypoints producing alternating red and orange smoke. So let's get out of this. back to the mission editor and uh, this was successful the last video the next video will be one more improvement and that will be to create late activation for those trucks so they don't start at mission start so I'll be doing that next that's it for now